Hi, I'm Vincent Cobb, founder of ReusableBags.com and ReuseIt.com, and I thought I would take a minute to uh, put some things in perspective and give you my perspective with the recent news that came out that old SIG bottles, the liners of old SIG bottles contain BPA in them. And um, just to take a step back about what our business is all about, what we've always been about, which is to digest information, present the facts, um, spell rumors and myths that are flying, swirling around out there, around any issue, and then help guide people in the right direction. So that's just a core tenet about what we do with everything that we deal with. We led the way with uh, the plastic bag issue, and um, most recently what this reminds me of and what's happening with, uh, with BPA, because this is the second kind of wave of BT BPA scare, is uh, lead in lunch bags. So that's an issue that we dealt with about three or four years ago to help, help put that into perspective with people, present them with the information and guide them. So specifically with the SIG issue, um, are we pissed with how they handled it? Absolutely. Um, do we wish that they'd handle things better? Um, yes, and been more forthcoming and more transparent? Um, absolutely. Um, we tried to get to the bottom of this kind of stuff over the years and we could never get a straight answer, if you will, but what we kept going back to is, are the bottles safe? All the test results that they showed us show that they are safe. So ultimate question, do we think the SIG bottles are safe? Absolutely. Um, but this whole, the more we've dug into this, we have been split within our office and some people are like, yeah, I would use them and others are like, maybe not. Personally, I still use them. My family, both my kids have SIG bottles with the old liner. So are they a company that we trust moving forward? Yes, I know Steve Wasik personally. Um, I've known him for four years now. He's the new CEO of SIG. Uh, he's been there for about a year. And he's always been a champion of wanting to be transparent. And I think the whole thing with this, this um, issue with BPA and their liners, they were not transparent. They didn't just come out and say, yes, there is BPA in the liner. Does it leach? The answer is very, very insignificant levels, if any kind of trace leaching. Now, all that information you can find out at our site because ultimately what it comes down to is each of us as individuals have to make a decision on these kinds of things. Um, we're faced with it with everything. Uh, it was similar with lead and lunch bags. So uh, go, to our, go to our site, figure out what you want to do about SIG bottles if you have one. If you bought one from us, we're absolutely working with people to offer exchanges and do whatever they want to to, to, you know, to make them feel comfortable and to do right. I mean, that's our whole goal. A um, couple things to keep in perspective uh, and rules of thumb, uh, everything leaches. Uh, that's something we found out a while ago, which was kind of surprised me because even things like glass can leach lead. Um, stainless steel can leach uh, heavy metals. So, you know, what do we do about that? We as individuals. And I think the point is, again, keep it in perspective. Um, what are the amounts that we're getting exposed to with these kinds of things? That's important to keep in mind. And, and a key thing is, and we'll be providing information to help put this stuff in perspective as we're learning more about it, like things about stainless steel, things about glass, rules of thumb that you can do. Um, but the basic thing, a basic thing is um, avoid cheap reusables. Uh, work really concerned about the flood of cheap reusables hitting the marketplace because it's become a hot commodity to offer these cheap reusables and lots of people being tempting into buying them because of the low price or because they heard that a reusable water bottle or whatever it is is something that they should be incorporating in part of their life so they would buy the first cheap one that they find. So avoiding cheap reusables, working with companies that you can trust, um, who knows what materials and the quality standards of these cheap reusables that are out there. And um, come to our site, we'll be providing more information about these things down the road. Um, it's what we're committed to, it's what we do. And uh, thanks for your time.